South Africa right now, there's little good news around. Um, the socio-economic tensions continue to play themselves out um, within our beautiful country. Try and get this thing working. Um, the South African economy is weakening in response to the strikes, the ratings downgrades, the lack of infrastructure, electricity in particular, and policy uh, vacillation. So we're not operating in a good space right now. And the Rustenburg Platinum Belt strikes have battered mining and manufacturing sectors in South Africa over the last five months. Uh, but that's not all. There's more to come. Strike season starts in July, and I believe that the NUMSA unions will be going out on strike on the 1st of July, which is Tuesday next week. Having said all of that, though, the global economies are continuing to strengthen, and that eventually will feed into commodity prices. And I'm quite sure that as with most of the um, trials and tribulations that we've seen in South Africa, they will soon be, be behind us. We will muddle through in one way or another, and we'll come out of the other end. Um, maybe not shining, but at least better than when we went in. I think the platinum belt now is due to get slowly back to normal, now that the strike is over. And Hudeco results in the short term. Mining and manufacturing sectors account for 50% of Hudeco's sales. Uh, most of you already know that, but what it tells you is that Hudeco had, has had nowhere to hide in this six months from the strikes in the platinum belt. Um, the performance from existing businesses was disappointing, but I think we can describe it as resilient under the circumstances. In one of the most challenging trading environments we've experienced, or certainly I've experienced in the last 22 years, and as the chairman has mentioned, I've been through uh, quite a few, um, this has been particularly bad. Fortunately, acquisitions are performing to expectations. Our program of acquisitions over the last few years has deliberately targeted businesses that don't have that exposure to the mining industry that uh, has been traditional within Hudeco. So that's paid off for us, as you'll see when Graham takes you through the detailed numbers. Exports into Africa in the first half of this year have grown by a third, and that's after a 50% growth last year. So we've been talking about putting more resources about into growing our uh, sales into Africa. And you can see now in the last 18 months, certainly this is starting to really pay off for us. 2014 earnings will be affected by the strikes, but we will be as resilient as they were in the first half. I think the results under the circumstances, it's probably the, the highest headwinds we could face. I think the results are good under those conditions. <coughs> the acquisitions, the acquisitions are strengthening and diversifying our earnings base. You've seen the results that it, have, it has here. It's something that we started a few years ago trying to look at acquisitions that weren't directly uh, in our mining uh, and manufacturing sectors. It's showing a good result here. Um, it's still part of our strategy. We still have to carry on making these acquisitions going forward. We can't expect to, to get that organically or out of the GDP. Sales into Africa another um, positive to take forward. We think we grew our, our Africa business 50% last year. We had already 33% up this year, and we hope to continue that. The exports of our own brands uh, is receiving, receiving high priority, and those are the, the, the branded products that we're manufacturing here in South Africa that we're exporting to the likes of America and Europe. Those are dollar and euro-based economies, and hopefully we get a, a good result there. When the RAND goes south like it has now, our products get cheaper and we can, we can sell more product. <coughs>